Hello and welcome to my October Festival uh, yeah, TBR. Um, I have a lot of books on it. Um, yeah, I want to complete the 33 castles or buildings or fortifications, however you want to name it. Um, yeah, I want to get all of them free and with all your help we can do it, but yeah. I had to lead by example, right? So let's uh, get right into it. Um, by Robert Schneider. I have uh, the Offenbarung or the Revelation, however you want to call it. Um, it's about a new or not earlier found piece of music composed by, uh, what's his name, Johann Sebastian Bach. And there's some mystery attached to that music and the guy who finds it is an unknown musician, but he thinks I can get very wealthy or very rich if I say it's my own work and just run with it. Um, yeah, that's the concept of this book. Then by Thomas uh, T. Meyer, I guess I can pronounce it, it's uh, Corona uh, and it talks about a party going to a place in somewhere in Africa and they make some discoveries, they found some ancient ruins and after a couple of weeks I think they are there. Uh, they start to face some yeah, unnatural phenomenon and eventually they realize they have traveled to another dimension but don't know how to get back to Earth. Um, yeah, I like this other books and really hope this one will live up to uh, high, ex high expectations. Christian Fitzek, uh, I have uh, the therapy and this is about a, psy a psychiatrist whose daughter has been missing. Uh, daughter is missing and no one knows what happened to her. Uh, a couple of years later a girl shows up and she knows some details about what happened to uh, his daughter. And the story goes from then on. By Petra Hammenfahr, I have, um, what's the German name? Die Chefin, or the she boss, whatever. Um, anywho, uh, this is about an ambitious woman. And she and her husband uh, do own a, a company. And when her husband uh, does some shady stuff with the company, she decides to, yeah, I get rid of him because he is a danger to the company and I want the company to succeed. Uh, during the uh, investigation, the policeman who is investigating the probably murder, he falls in love with her and some conflicts there and the story goes on for there so yeah really you by E.W. Uh, Heine I have Papa Vera and Papa Vera is a YA book set in the Middle Ages Papa Vera is a girl and her father is missing and uh, her mother died and she is now the ruler of a castle uh, the castle called Falkenberg, Falkenstein, I bet. And when she doesn't say yes to uh, yeah, love intentions from uh, Count, he claims she's a witch and from then on she has to leave and 
yeah, yeah, she's just on the search for uh, her father and she eventually goes through all of Europe because this one probably is set in Germany and she goes uh, to uh, the Holy Land and just to find her father and what happened and along the way she meets some quite interesting people and um, yeah the whole title of the book is Papa Vera, the Ring of the Crusader. So there's a ring with some uh, mysterious inscriptions and that's her only clue. Then by Nele Neuhaus, I have an unloved woman, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And this is the first book in the Kirchhoff and von Bodenstein um, detective duo. And Nele went huge when her fourth book in that series, uh, Snow White Must Die, um, yeah, became a bestseller. And I haven't read any of the books, so really want to find out um, if it's great or not. And find the lifeless body of a young woman and the two detectives, so Van Bodenstein and Kirchhoff, um, they're going to discover what happens to the body and who's behind all of it. Um, like I said, it's the first book in a series that's very long ongoing, I think. I think there are already eight or nine books out. And I really want to find out if it's a new all-time favorite for detectives. Then by Jörg Kachsner. I have Thorak, the German. Um, or the German, mother. Um, this is about... Yeah, one of the early German tribes, or, yeah, they were around, it's set in, uh, while the Romans are fighting over in Germany, and this is somehow based on some facts and some speculations of whatever have happened. And it's uh, part of a series, I only have book one. And really want to find out. And it said it's uh, talking about the very um, yeah moving history of Germany. So right for October Festival, isn't it? Uh, then I also want to try some fantasy. Um, I've heard a lot about that. It's very generic and really want to find out if it's true or not. So the shortest one I could find by a German author is by Markus Heitz. And this is the first book in the Dark Era uh, time or whatever. And it's Shadows Above Uldart. And really don't know what's it all about. I know it's a series with nine books in total. And this guy is the one who also famously wrote Dwarven series and haven't read those yet. But they are all above six, seven hundred pages, and this one's only 350, if I'm 380. 400 years ago, there was a dark era. And it's still not forgotten. And some dark lord made a pact with uh, the ghost of evil. And that's why there's darkness, war and suffering in the whole world. And now we follow some 15 year old and probably you'll do something as the chosen one but that's just speculations and i just want to find out if it's good or not 
and if it's worth reading the whole series. Then by Arno Strobel, I have Magus the Brotherhood. And this book, uh, there's a new Pope elected and minutes after he's presented, so this is the new Pope, he's been murdered. And the murderer doesn't want to speak to anyone, only to a certain bishop. And we find out there's also a secret society who wants to um, yeah, make the Third Reich uh, happen again. So a lot of uh, people were in power during that era in World War II. They traveled somewhere in South Africa and they trained a military group. And eventually that group wants to um, yeah, get power through the church. And when they have everything in power there, they want to take over the world. Um, that's about it. I uh, really don't know... Uh, anything about the author it said this was his breakthrough book and yeah hopefully it's good Koes Schute von Drach um, I have Führer of Führer and this is about a neuroscientist who finds a method to um, Yeah, to capture all me memories or uh, a human has and to, let's say, install it on the computer or see everything about it. Only uh, one day he's been murdered and his son finds out what the method is his father used and together with a journalist he decides to find out who murdered my father and what happened to him and maybe even discover uh, yeah, how he made that scientific breakthrough. And two books by Philip van den Berg. Um, this is Kaiser and Cleopatra, or, uh, Caesar and Cle Cleopatra. And this is more an um, reconstruction of what happened um, d during their era and what was their relationship and what was going on and all the intrigues and complots for the murder of uh, Caesar, Marcus Anthony and did Cleopatra either commit suicide or not? Everything is mentioned in this book. So this is more scientifically um, yeah, trying to reenact whatever happened. And you can all see there's some, uh, uh, some of these things and a lot of scientific mentionings um, so yeah more of a non-fiction read but very interesting I think and this is rather yet uh, so this will be a fiction one and this is about some guy in ancient Rome and yeah he is about to be, become a gladiator. And this is set in the first era or in the first century uh, after Christ. So Pompeii is still there, but not for long. And yeah. And last but not least, I will read the fairy tales by the Brothers Grimm. And you can think, well, that's a very short and small book. But it almost has very thin pages indeed and it has some 300, 390 pages 
So yeah, really discovering and um, yeah, reading all of their classic fairy tales and find out if they're good or not. 13 books I will try to read um, during Oktoberfest of fun. And I think it's only 17 days, so almost a book a day. Um, yeah, wish me luck. And hopefully everyone will enjoy October Festival. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!